Picture the island of Cuba during the Pleistocene. It's a world away from what we know of it today. In this ancient landscape, a truly remarkable creature roamed the forest floor. While most owls ruled the twilight skies, or Nemegalonyx, the Cuban giant owl, did things differently. This wasn't your typical hooting bird in a tree. This was a ground-dwelling titan. Imagine an owl that could stand nearly chest-high to a person, with long and powerful legs built for sprinting. Instead of relying on flight, Ornimegalonyx evolved into a master of the ambush, a formidable predator perfectly adapted to Cuba's dense limestone forests. Its prey, a large native rodents called hushas, and maybe even small primates who weren't careful enough. The caves that scattered across Cuba have given us a direct look at its diet, preserving piles of fossilized pellets filled with the bones of its victims. A prehistoric menu, frozen in time. Let's step into its world. The landscape is dominated by towering limestone hills, called magots, and lush sinkholes. Sunlight filters through the thick canopy, dappling the forest floor. Perched silently at the edge of a cave, or a rocky outcrop, the giant owl waits. When the moment is right, it exploded into action. It doesn't fly. It dashes, leaps over roots and rocks with incredible agility, and launches itself into the air. Just enough to bring its massive talents down on its unsuspecting meal. Its anatomy was a marvel of a vo Long leg bones gave it a massive stride, and a strong pelvis absorbed the shock of its powerful pounces. Its large forward-facing eyes gave it superb night vision, essential for hunting in the dim light of dusk and dawn, by roosting on high ledges and at cave mouths. It had the perfect vantage point to survey its territory. In a world with few other large predators, Ornamegalonyx became the apex hunter of its island home. It wasn't without competition, of course. Other owls and even crocodiles were around, but these giant owls had a strategy. It hunted when its main prey, the hushas, were most active, using the low light to its advantage. Experienced owls even learned to use storms, knowing that prey would seek shelter under specific rock overhangs, creating the perfect trap. For a long time, it seemed this magnificent bird was the undisputed ruler of the Cuban night. Then things began to change. The arrival of new species, including humans and their dogs, brought noise. Fire and competition that this island specialist wasn't prepared for. But for thousands of years, Ornamegalonyx played a vital role in maintaining the ecological balance of its unique world. Next time you think of owls, remember the giant that walked the earth. A testament to the incredible and surprising paths evolution can take. What other prehistoric giants are waiting to be rediscovered? Let me know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more journeys into the past.